Download the app from the App and Play Store. Welcome to the UK's biggest station mix. My name is Shabnam Sahi. I'm in conversation with Dr. Selva Pankaj, CEO of Regent Group, which is a London-based educational organization. Selva, welcome to Sunrise. Thank you, Shabnam. Thank you. Now, we're here to talk about a fascinating program. I've been going through my notes. I've been looking at it. And I thought everything that your program talks about is something which is common sense. And yet, to put it across in the way that you have as part of the Thinking into Character program, as part of our changing world, which is the way you like to see it, is absolutely fascinating. I'm going to let you explain to us what led you to first form the Regent Group, as it were, and then put the program together the way you have. Thank you. I think the Regent Group started, uh, me and my wife, Uh, started back in 2000 Mm. and the story was we just wanted to earn some extra income and it was uh, I always say we started with a 20 pound private tuition Mm. in 2000 and in 18 years we are ready to become a private university in the UK so the journey has been wonderful and I think when we started the uh, organization we we had the ethos the end of education is character Mm. But after 18 years, we just feel we really have found a methodology how we can share with our students and with our clients how to really create that character Mm. rather than just saying, Mm. you know, I've heard that saying Mm. from a lot of people. Mm. But I think thinking into character enables us to try and get to that. But this program we, we are calling Our Changing World in Sunrise is a way of reaching out uh, to our audience. Now, could I ask you, do you have a target audience in mind? I know that this is something that all of us could benefit from. But do you have a specific audience in mind? Yeah, I think, as you said, it, it's for everyone. But it's mainly we work with students on one side. Mm. So we work with colleges. We work with a number of universities now. Students are rolling out this program. But we also want to work with small to medium-sized businesses because th- they are the uh, important part of uh, this uh, environment and economy. So it's it's mainly for students and also to business and business leaders as well. And we are now rolling out these programs within companies. Mm. And I've done a lot of work in the U.S. and it has really, really helped to improve their growth and the well-being of of, of their um, teams. Mm. Now, am I right, before we delve into the specific chapters, am I right in thinking that, as you were saying, this is a virtual program, Right. So you're talking about not just mugging up stuff and then sitting an exam, but bringing about that change from within. Absolutely. So what what we have done is, and we will talk later on, the the only way to bring change is constant pace repetition. Mm. And in order for us to do that, technology is very, very useful for Mm. us. Mm. So we have a platform, we call it Region Virtual Campus. Within that, when we have these lessons, you have got videos, you've got worksheets, you've interactive information, and therefore you learn that on your own pace. Mm. However, on a regular intervals, we actually come and work with students or or clients Mm. in relation to facilitation. It's not necessarily teaching. Mm. It's about discussing some of these ideas and therefore the students and the clients can explore their own thoughts. Mm. As I said, it's an inside-out education. Mm. Now, Selva, let's look at uh, the new Lead the Field coaching program. This is absolutely fascinating. It's it's, uh, divided into different chapters. And let's start with uh, chapter one, of course, the magic word. You talk about Attitude being the magic word in life. And you say how our attitude towards life actually shapes life's attitude towards us. And attitude, right. you've described it as nothing but action, feeling, mood. Um, explain that a little bit more, please. Yeah, I think in our program we, we and, and, and in life, attitude is, is so important. But what we are really doing is we are linking that to how the humans work. Mm. And then and when we talk about in the, in the attitude, we, we have three parts of uh, um, the body or the mind-body relationship. You've got the conscious mind, you've got the subconscious mind, and you've got the body. Mm. And if you have the thoughts, feelings, and actions in harmony, mm. 
And that's where we, we call we are, you are in integrity. And when you're doing that, you're expressing the right attitude, the positive attitude, mm. what you really need to mm. achieve whatever you want to achieve in life. And I love the way you've actually linked that to self-esteem, to every individual's desire to be loved, to be respected. And you say that a positive attitude, the most important bit there is to have a positive attitude towards yourself first. Correct. Right. And you also say that how... The higher up you go in an organization, you're more likely to find people who are nicer, that much nicer, because they radiate positivity. Absolutely. I think, you know, we always say you, you get there because of your attitude, mm. but you don't sort of be there because oh, so the attitude gets you up there. Mm. And that's why the people on higher positions and when they are in there and then they radiate and when you, 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 you gravitate mm. to them naturally and then it's all because of the attitude and it's and we all can develop it. It's it's uh, it's it's not something a rocket science but it's it's but it's a process mm. and we need to be consciously aware of that, then we can develop it. Now, let me ask you this. There's another bit there in the chapter, The Magic Word, where you say that, you know, treat every person as the most important person in your life, right? Absolutely. What happens when that feeling is not reciprocated? What happens if you come across people who don't have the right attitude or have a bad attitude? How do you resolutely still stay on that path yourself? Because I think it's an awareness level. I mean, we all make our mistakes. I mean, mm -hmm. somebody comes in front of us when we are driving mm -hmm. and and then, you know, it, it's uh, people on the low level of uh, awareness, they react. Mm. And people on high level of awareness, they respond. Mm. So I think it, in an inside out development and education, I think it's our own inner uh, ability to control ourselves. And it's quite interesting. You know, we talk about discipline and, and the discipline for us is or when we are sharing this research is about we give ourselves a command and we follow it. Mm -hmm. So we then say, look, this is how I'm going to operate. Mm -hmm. I really don't care how others are going to treat me. But because it's very internal, and I think we search for answers externally all the time, but it's all ve it's internal. And, 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 and that's the way. And again, you develop that character. You develop that habit, and we call it paradigms. And, and then you, you, you go up on your awareness level. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a bit there where you say that, you know, radiate an attitude of well-being and confidence. Think, act, talk, conduct yourself as the person you wish to become. Absolutely. How, what does that achieve? I think it's you, you've got to be in that space. And I think if you look at every successful people, and that's, that's a story that I was reading, and and this guy who has created an incredibly successful chain of restaurants on, in the U.S., and, and then they asked him, when did you sort of um, achieve all of that? When did you think about mm. all of that? And he said, you know, I, I, found, I, I thought about it. I had everything when I was sleeping on the park benches. Mm. So it's, it's all in the mind. Mm. And if you can, and, and I think Napoleon Hill puts it so nicely, and he said, if you can have it in your mind, mm. you can have it in your hand. And it, it's, it's the ability to hold that picture um, and then keep on working towards that, get you to wherever you want to get to. And I suppose that is why they say things like, be careful what you wish for, yes, because if you happens. work hard on it, uh, it will come true. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Um, now, there's another thing, of course, as part of the magic word, attitude, shaping our actions, shaping our ultimate path to success, um, which is that since the mind holds one thought at a time, yeah. you say that, you know, it, it helps to make it a positive one, a constructive one. See the best in every situation. See the best in people. Easier said than done? It's incredibly hard. I mean, mm. even though we are sharing this mm. information, I think, and, and that's where our traditional education system is very much knowing a lot of those things. And we put it into an exam paper. And when we pass, we get a certificate. But here, it's not about that. It's the knowing and doing gap. Mm. So therefore, it is very easy to talk about it. But it's incredibly difficult to practice that. But that comes with constant pace repetition. When you listen to this information, read this information, study this information on a regular basis is like learning a language mm. and then you can't stop it and then you learn the language like it music. becomes a second habit it's, right? it's it's part of your paradigm then but you got to there is a process mm. which we talk about in our thinking into character program now you mentioned our changing world you said that it was a concept that was popular in america did you say in the very much so in the 1930s mm. you know where earl nightingale had this beautiful program called 
our changing world. And he shared similar ideas. And that program was so successful in the U.S. back in the 30s, post-depression and so mm. on. And it changed the world there. Mm. And I just thought it was a great way to do that in the 21st century. Absolutely. With Sunrise. Yeah, absolutely. So did you, like, study a lot of successful people from different fields? Did you? How did you put the program together the way you have? Because exactly at the expense of repeating myself, when I went through the chapters, I felt that, you know, everything that you say is things that are known to us. Us, but it's never been put so beautifully in such a logical way. How did you construct the program the way that you did? Was it by looking at successful people? Was it with lots of case studies, your own experiences? How did you arrive at this particular model? I think it module? started um, at Harvard, actually. I was, mm. I was so fortunate enough to work with Professor Clayton Christensen. Mm. And when I was there, and I think one, on one of the sessions, and it, that's, that changed my world. And, and then he said, you really need to understand who you are. And he also said, you really need to understand the laws of nature. Mm. The man-made laws is not going to get you anywhere. If you understand the laws of nature, you could do anything you like. I didn't quite understand that. Mm. And then he said, look, it's the secret of ages are locked up in books. Then I started to research a lot. So Napoleon Hill, Earl Nightingale, Wallace D. Wallace. This is a range of books which talks about human potential, human mm. behavior. Then I also started to work with Bob Proctor in the U.S. Mm. And they have got a huge amount of materials. And I spent a lot of time in the States. And... And I thought, you know what, we really wanted to create an organization, the end of education is character. Now we can really share this mm. and how we can share it. We thought the best way to do that is take the technology route. Mm. And therefore, you know, the lessons are recorded like what we are doing now. Mm. So it's captured and therefore students and clients, they can look over it over and over again. Mm. So it's that sparked it. But it's all started, you know, with my father. I lost my father in a in an accident and that's really changed my life. And I was just thinking, mm. what's, what's this life is all about and why it is? And so started to question the curiosity. Mm. And then we have a great team. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing is done on your own. Mm. You have a great team. Mm. So we all work together. It's, it's the thinking into character is worth about three years worth of research and putting mm. them together. Now we are really seeing the benefits and rolling out. And we can see students are enjoying it and clients are enjoying it. And exactly as you're saying, I mean, it is something which is relevant for everybody. So it doesn't matter what you're studying, what you're a student of. If you know, if you have the right tools to make the most of whatever it is that you need to pursue, you're likely to be, you know, Absolutely. successful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so is it, I mean... As long as you're a student, can anybody get in touch with Absolutely. you and avail of this program? Absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm just sort of finishing up a book which will be published soon called The Thinking into a Character. And we really want to give it out of the world. And there'll be e-books and it'll be given at a very easily accessible. Therefore, this information, the our view is very much giving this information as mm. much as possible to a wider audience. But that's how the nature works in terms of Every action has got its equal and opposite reaction. Mm. And when you give without the expectation of whatever you are doing for, you will receive. You know, it's, they say sometimes you're just about to, about to give, you're receiving it. But the problem is, as humans, and the research says, we sometimes get ourselves confused with giving, with trading. Mm. Absolutely. So what am I getting in what return? What am I getting into? It? And as soon as you do that, mm. I think you are violating the law of nature. Mm. And then you say, why am I not getting the answers I want? Because you have sent the wrong things outside. Mm. And, then, and then we talk about it further down on the lesson seed for, seed for achievements. And we say, it's the inner truth. We know exactly why we are doing mm. But outside, on the thoughts, feelings, and action we talk about, so in the action we do something, but in mm. the thoughts you're completely opposite, mm. then you're in conflict. Yes. And it's, it's a nightmare. And, and, and the people live the world uh, like that, in, in that conflict. And half of the problems we all have is because of that. And it's easy. Look, I, I, I get into the pro same problems mm. uh, uh, over and over again. But now I feel when I get into it, I kind of know, okay, maybe I'm doing this because, because of that. So there is a logical reason I can relate to. Mm. Then I can go and correct myself. Mm. But before, I didn't know how to correct. Mm. Like people said, oh, you've you got to focus yourself. I don't know, how do I focus? Mm. 
But so it is an ongoing journey, right? It, it is not is something that you're done with and then no. you're sorted for life. This Lifelong is something that learning. you're working on every single day. Absolutely. I think it's it's it, it you you need to do that every day. And I think that's where our education system, you know, we thought when we finished university or done, done our master's, education is finished. Mm. In fact, that's where you're starting. The app available from the App and Play Store.